Hey folks, this is Education About Stuff. It's definitely been a while. Uh, this video is actually going to be a redo of a previous video of mine about bee trees. Um, I'll be focusing specifically on two, three trees in this video instead of the broader idea of a binary search tree or bee tree. Um, otherwise, the topics will be pretty similar. I'll be discussing insertion and deletion, two, three tree rules and definitions. And finally, I'll be discussing how all this could be done in code, but please note that I will not be showing any code. Uh, that could really be a video on its own, and who knows, it it may be someday. Alright, so just to go over some basic rules um, of a 2-3 tree, uh, every single node, and when I say node, I mean uh, one of these little cells here, I'm just picking up color. That's a node, that's a node, that's a node. Now when I talk about children, I mean these guys in, relating, in relation to the parent node. So this guy here, 29, that would be a parent node to 26 and 30, just as an example. Now when I say key, I mean the value inside the node. So in this case, 29 itself would be the key for that node. This gets a little less confusing uh, once you have multiple keys per node, and we'll get into that. Um, So right off the bat here, if I want to have multiple keys per node, if I have like node 50, for instance, and then I have, I have one, and then I have 60. At the moment, this is valid. This, this is a two, three tree, right? So nodes can have one key and two children maximum. So we have one key here, and we have a maximum of two children here. So if I want to insert something like 8, and we'll go over this in detail, but if I want to insert 8, I can actually have multiple keys in one node. I can have up to two keys in one node. So if I want to insert 8, I could just put that right here, right? And I still satisfy this rule up here, rule number 1. So 1 and 8, that's one node. Then 50 is one node, 60 is one node. So 50 still only has two children, right? except that this left child here has two keys. So I can change this up a little bit. And if I need to put 49 into this tree here, it's going to look like this. OK, this is what it's going to look like. And we're going to go over this. So now that we have two keys in the root node here, right? we have 8 and we have 50, we have to have three children. You can't have unless it's a, a, a leaf node, so at the end here, right, unless it's one of these guys, you cannot have a node with two keys and not have three children. That's one of the constraints of a two, three tree. So I want to get started from scratch here. Uh, let's pick a number. Let's take 33. Okay, 33, this is our first number. Now we want to add numbers onto this. Uh, let's say 1. So we want to have 1, we want to have 33, and then let's do like, I don't know, 67. Okay. So because we're building this, the whole point of a 2-3 tree or any binary search tree is to be able to find these numbers easily. So our root node is going to be 33, and then the left subtree is less than the root node, so 1 is less than 33. I'm going to put that there. And then 67 is on the right subtree, so it's the opposite. So it's more than 33. We want to put it on the right subtree. So just to make that real easy, more and less. Okay. So we've got our three numbers. Uh, we can start making this more complicated. So like in the previous example, what happens if we want to add 8? We need to remember that we only have one key in our root node, right? So 8 is less than 33. If I add it into the root node, if I, if I put an 8 here, then I will need to have three children. I don't have another number yet. So we're not going to do that. Instead, what we can do is we can add 8 right here as a second key. And this still satisfies the first rule, right? We have one key in the root node, and we still only have two children. I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Okay, so far so good. 
Now let's say I have another number. I want to add 9. So this is where things get a little weird. So right away I can say, okay, well, 9 is less than 33, right? So it should be going on this side, but I don't really know where. Um, my gut would tell me kind of like down here, but then we end up with a situation where we have more keys than what we're allowed. So then my gut would tell me, okay, well, maybe it can go up here, right? But then we still end up in a situation where we would have two children with a parent node with two keys. Like, this doesn't work. This isn't a thing you can do. So what you can do is start shifting stuff around a little bit. So if I want to have 9 in here, I can take 8 and I can move it up to the root. So then if I clean this up, we're going to end up with 1. We're going to end up with 8 and 33 on top. And then 9 is wedged in the middle between 8 and 33. Right? 1 is less than 8. And then finally, we have 67 on the side. So that's what this middle... When you, whenever you have three children for a parent node, this middle one is wedged in between the two keys. So let's whoops, I scrolled there. Let's really shake things up. Let's um, let's add thirty one. So where should I add thirty one? Hmm. All right. Well, it's between eight and thirty three. It's bigger than nine. It's, so it's still wedged in between the numbers of our root node. It's between 8 and 33, but it's bigger than 9. So we can actually stick it in here. We can do this. We still satisfy rule number 2, right? Oops. We still satisfy rule number 2. Uh, let's shake things up even more. What happens if we add 32 now? Okay, so 32 is bigger than 8. It's less than 33, so it's still kind of wedged in the middle here, but it's bigger than 31. So we're going to have to rebalance this whole thing. So if I want to add 32, naturally this is kind of where our instincts tell us it should go, right? But then it's not a 2-3 tree, tree anymore. So we can't have we can't have three keys in this leaf node here. It has to something has to happen here. But if I move thirty two up, then this thirty one end, ends up stuck, and we still have three keys up here. So we still need to move a number, but it's looking like it might be thirty one, right? So we have eight, thirty one, thirty three. That's still three keys. That's too many. We have 9 and 32 at the bottom here. So we could probably just push it up one more. We can add another level. And we can make 31 become the new root. So I'm going to cut out for a sec, and I'm going to clean this up. I'll leave the old one there, though, so we can see the difference. All right, so do we see what happened there? So this is our 32 that we just added. And we had to break everything up because our, our patterns were all off here. The 1 and the 67 are fine because the 1 is the smallest, 67 is the largest. So they're going to be on either side of their extremes. So 1 is going to be leftmost, 67 is going to be rightmost. Um, and just to kind of recap here, we had, we had the 31 there already. We want to toss in 32. 31 really is sort of the middle of all these numbers it's um it's it's the median essentially right so we want to put all of our numbers on either end of 31 and this is what the the entire algorithm looks at so what this might look like in code is actually kind of the opposite of our intuition what our intuition is telling us if you're on like an exam or doing this or whatever it doesn't really matter but in code if you're looking to implement this it would actually look at the root node first and it would have this new 32 that it wants to insert and it would try to insert it here and it would say nope can't do that and then it would check out below 
right? And then we try and look here and be like, no, it can't do that. And then it would kind of look to rebalance and say, okay, well, we still have 31, it's less than 32, it's right beside it. Now we can scoot this guy up, move 31 up to the root, and then it would split everything, rebalance the whole thing. Um, right, so before we move on to deletion, um, I do want to mention that when you're inserting your first couple of elements, um, your first couple of uh, keys, rather, let's say you have 9 and 10, okay? Your very first step will actually be a dual key node right and then as you keep adding it'll rebalance everything so if you were to add 11 after this then it would split it your first step would oh I actually think it's cutting out of the frame here so what I have in the corner there is just 9 10 11 and then 9 10 split so the algorithm would try and put it here it would say oh no can't do that but I do have a 10 so then it would promote 10 Right, so 10 would now be the root, and then you'd have 9 and 11 on either side, and then you end up just going from where we started. All right, this tree's a little trickier. This is for deletion. Uh, I'm trying to throw you guys for a little bit of a loop here. Um, so just to kind of recap, 31 is our root node, right? The entire left subtree is less than 31 the entire right subtree is larger than 31. And then here, you know, it's the same thing. So the left subtree is smaller than 33. The middle subtree is wedged between our two keys. And the right subtree is larger than 67. OK, let's delete 88. 88 is done. All right, now we have a problem here because now rule two is not satisfied. We have a node with two keys here, right? But we only have two children now because 88 is gone. We're going to have to bring down 67. But we can't do just a straight bring down, right? Because then we'd end up with an additional child, and we can't have that because we only have one key in our node. I know, this gets confusing. So what we can do is we can take the 67 and we can merge it with 34. So if I were to take this little subtree and rebalance it, we would end up with 33. 32 is smaller than 33. And then we would have 34 and 67. So that's what it would look like if we deleted 88. All right, now because we hate ourselves a lot, we're going to delete 33. So what happens now? Well, it's actually not so bad. So 32, 34, and 67 are all, all still greater than 31. So we're not, we're not taking out the root. We're not doing anything with the root. We're still working with our right subtree. So what ends up happening take out 33 here we've got a free spot who wants to get promoted I think 34 wants to get promoted so 34 ends up coming up here and we have 67 32 and that's actually it so you would have 34 32 and 67 in our rightmost subtree okay let's kill the root <laughs> 31 is gone. What happens now? Well, right off the bat, this guy is going to stay intact. Oh, I don't know how to drag. Okay, figured it out. <laughs> Our left subtree, though, is going to be a little messed up. So 31 has gone now. We've got the king's, king's throne is, is up for grabs. Uh, let's see here. So 9 is our largest number in the left subtree. Now we have 34 as well. So my gut is kind of telling me, okay, well, K 
can't really bring that up there, so then it goes one higher. I think we're looking at nine being our new root. And then we have our 34, left subtree, blah, blah, blah. And then we have one and, oops, we have one and eight. Um, so nine, nine's gonna be a dual key. Yeah, nine's gonna have to be two keys. Well, the root's gonna have to be two keys. So this is actually gonna be nine and 34 here. And uh, sorry, a lot of this is kind of black box. Like it's kind of like you just have to look at it and sort of figure it out. Um, as long as you know the rules and as long as you know how like the left subtree and the right subtree are structured, like less than and greater than and all that, you can rebalance things and move things around. And as long as it satisfies the rules, you're good. Um, so this is our root node now. So we have nine and 34, we still have eight. And then we have 32 and 67. So because nine is in our root now, and eight and one are less than nine, uh, I'm just gonna write these down. So eight, 32, 67. So we have four nodes. There's one number here that is wedged between nine and 34. So he's gonna be a single. And 67 will also be a signal single because it's bigger than 34. And because we have to satisfy rule two where nodes with two keys have to have three children. Boom. Okay, excellent. So that actually does the trick. Um, now let's keep going here. Let's do one more. Uh, what happens if I delete 34? Or you know what, let's do an easy one. What happens if I delete 32? So kind of, I mean, I can sort of just take it out and then we split one and eight. So then we end up with eight, but notice that the middle subtree here is not between nine and 34, it's actually less than. So then we can switch these guys up and now we have a new root. So, sorry, I keep running out of space here. So our new tree is gonna look like 8, 34, 67, still good. And then nine is wedged in between because it got switched. One, we satisfy the rules. That is a two, three tree, excellent. Um, all right, last one, promise. So I'm just gonna clean this up. If I delete eight, I'm left with something like this. This is not valid. This is not um, correct. Uh, we would need probably look like one or uh, 34 still in the root, but then one and nine would join each other so that we only have two children. One and nine are both less than 34 and then 67 biggest guy. So he's, he's on the, on the far right there. All right. So we are past the 15 minute mark now um, at this point. I hope that video was helpful. I think it was way better than the last one. So I um, hope you enjoyed it. Hope, uh, hope it came in, came in handy. Um, feel free to suggest ideas for new videos. I don't make these all that much anymore, but I'm always open to suggestions. Uh, feel free to give a thumbs up, subscribe. You guys, you guys know the deal. And uh, happy studying. Good luck on your exams and with your classes.